So what do you make of your life? You know, like when my self-loathing and imposter syndrome pops up, sometimes I have to go, okay, okay, just calm down. It's going to be all right. And you have to look around. I kind of look around sometimes and not that I'm like touching my stuff, uh, but I'm like, you, it's, it's all right. The funny thing is I bet there are days where you forget about community. Oh yeah. And then you go, oh fuck. I do. Oh yeah. And then you go, oh fuck. I was on that for six, seven years. It's amazing how often you can hit that. Like, uh, I'm just starting out again. Yeah. And I'm like, you're. Well, it's, it doesn't, your body isn't, I don't think we're supposed to rem, live this long or something. There's something about it where you go, I have, and I've been telling people on the podcast, I do a, like a checklist several times a day of, and sometimes it's literally my possessions. Yeah. No, there's and something sometimes going. sometimes it's literally like the facts of my life. Yes. Because it's so easy to forget and it's so easy to get caught up in threats and yeah. anxieties and it's like just fucking Absolutely. chill baby yeah yeah i think it's also the nature of being in our business which is but and like many businesses and but as you said but like it really is like eh, well what did you do for me today and uh right uh, and and i'll be and I, to like i will go do stand up or something and i'll be like that I will get, I will be filled with a sense of dread, especially if I haven't done it for a while. I'm like, I don't know if it's fucking work. But then, you know, you meet people that are like, fucking nailed it again. I'm like, what the? No, well, yeah, but that's, I, that, it's a different, that's a whole Yeah, it's a whole yeah. other issue. But I'm saying, like, it's going great <laughs> for me and you. I'm yes. saying, I'm talking about you, but it's going for, yeah, it's going. Yeah. I mean, look at us. <laughs> We're uh, on. Hello, a self-produced podcast. How could you? But, um, but, no. but it is going incredibly well. And not like I hope you appreciate it in a guilty way. It's just like, no, it went really good. It can also become a, a pretty annoying disease uh, constantly. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not great. All yeah. that stuff. Uh, but also just taking a moment to go be thankful. Yeah. And I understand that, like, whatever, people believe in all sorts of different things, but I feel like that's a universal, like, be thankful for your, like, uh, this earth is always beauty and terror all the time. And people are like, it sucks. Yeah, but it's great, too, being here. And so being thankful for that and that that will melt some of the, uh, you know, You can replace calcium. it. You can literally replace one feeling yeah. with another feeling if you focus on the new feeling. Have you done that? I do it four times a day. How do you do it? I have a like spiral notebook and I just write the date and then number one and then I go this, 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 this. Oh, I should do that. And then I did it at, I only did it once yesterday, which is the worst day I've had in three months in terms of gratitude. And then, and then today I've done it. I'll do it when we're done. I'll go home and do it. And if I can't, if I don't have the notebook, I'll just do it on a piece of paper in my car because you can replace your feelings <laughs> with a different feeling. Yeah. It's like acting. It literally is like acting. Yeah. Where you just go, oh, no, I'm. It's amazing what the yeah. body does. Yeah. It's like, like the what if you start screaming in terror at for fun. You're yes. Eventually you'll be yes. terrified. And also if you laugh. Same thing. Yeah. It was what uh, Craig Ferguson said it a couple of times. It was like, when you stare into the abyss, the abyss is staring right back at you. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's real. Yes. It also, you become abyss. Yeah. <laughs> you just become abyss. Uh, uh, Dick Gregory is a great, there's an audio recording of him saying that if you're, you, it's about entertainment, but he's talking about if you watch The Sound of Music, you're watching The Sound of Music. Right? Mm -hmm. And the spirit of the sound of music just gets in you. Right? The doorbell rings. When you go to answer the doorbell, you're still the sound of music. <laughs> yeah. And like you still have that energy. And he's like, and on stage, I can become, the audience becomes me. Mm -hmm. But it's, you can just trick your own fucking dumbass body into it. Yeah. Into really being, I can be dark and uh, uh, spiteful 
and I can just remember to not be. I can remember to be grateful and I'll just be grateful. And it's so simple. You can't believe it works. It feels like cheating. And it is, I guess. I mean, but it seems cooler to be like, the abyss. It's so. Do you guys know about the abyss? First of all, there's the claymation song, just put one foot right in front of the other. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be walking out the door. And I was like, I mean, even like, I was like, that's right. Just fucking do it. I can't. Uh, I was Dispute like, oh, yeah. let's just, you know, get a bunch of Advil. His knees work again. But uh, people always would feel like comedians are so dark. They're so, you know, you need to have that, right? And I was like, no, you need to be funny. Yeah. Because uh, there's all sorts of people that are dark and fucked up, but they're, you know. Yeah, Mulaney uh, had the joke about Robin Williams. He's like, you know how many people are, de are depressed and aren't funny at all? No, there are depressed people who don't even have the decency to be great comedians. <laughs> Not funny at all. He was depressed, but he was fucking hilarious. So, yes. and then they go, so dark. No, it's just, you. I've never written a joke from rumination or brooding. Yeah. I've written jokes from just going, eh, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> I'm going to mock that. I'll be like, you know, Adam Sandler, he's a pretty, from yes. knowing him a little bit, he's like, yeah. he's a fucking hilarious person, yep. one of the funniest people. Yep. And, very as kind of guys you'll ever meet. As guy, I was like, he and he has obviously done like that that nine eleven movie he did, which was extraordinary what mm -hmm. he did, or uh, Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. Right. The guy doesn't. He might have demons that I don't, but he's. He, but people, I was like, you don't need to no walk around uh, scowling all the time. No. And be, yeah, and just it's just trying to be cool. I think. Yeah. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.